In these problems, we're talking about isometries and congruent figures. Let's look at this first problem. It asks, do the shapes, A and B here, appear to be congruent? Well, congruent means that their sides are going to have the same measures, their angles are going to be the same angles. They're basically the same shape, but they might have been rotated or reflected or just pushed around in some other way so that their shape is the same, but they might not be exactly lined up together anymore. It says, if so, which isometry will map figure A onto figure B? So the first question is, are these congruent? And just by looking at them, I would say yes. It appears that it's exactly the same shape. What it looks like is that it's just been reflected. It's been made into a mirror image. So in that case, the transformation that would map a onto B would be a reflection. Let's look at the next one. It says, does the transformation appear to be an isometry? So we're looking at, we've got figure A, B, C, and then, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, A prime, B prime, C prime. There's like a little apostrophe next to each of these. That's uh, a common notation in geometry when you're looking at a figure that um, maybe has undergone some kind of transformation from the original figure. So does it appear to be an isometry? So the question is, are these shapes congruent? And is there some reflection or rotation or translation that could have um, you know, made one shape into the other? That's the first part of the question. And uh, just looking at these figures, it looks like the sides AC is the long side, BC, shorter side, AB. Uh, in the middle. They, they, they look like if you line them up together, if you push them around so that they all lined up, that they would be exactly the same. And it looks to me like um, they just rotated it. So if, if you took B and just kind of swung it up here so that it was up along this side, A would come over this way, C would come over this way, and I think you'd have the same shape there. Um, so they appear to be congruent. It looks like um, the, the transformation uh, is an isometry because an isometry means you know it preserves the congruence of the figures they didn't it didn't change size the next question is do the figures have the same or opposite orientation when you reflect something the uh, the orientation um, gets switched around when you just rotate or translate something the uh, orientation is the same and you can see in this one that the orientation is going to be the same if you went from b so from a to b would be in that direction from B to C, from C to A. Once you rotate this up, you've got the same direction going on. This is a, a counterclockwise direction. So that orientation appears to be the same. All right, let's do one more here. This one says, which of the following transformations represents an isometry? And the rule to remember here is that isometries, which are those translations, rotations, and reflections, the size does not change. So this is a really easy problem. Our pre-image and our image, so the before and, and the after, well, the size changed there. The size changes here, the size changes here. Only this one, are the sizes the same. So we're going to call this one um, the isometry, and it looks like it was a reflection. So that's a little bit about isometries.